Hello, my name is Tsakal and today we'll take a look at Diablo 3 beta, more specifically the monk abilities. As you probably saw from the weekly ranting video, I've been playing Diablo with my monk, just to show you the guys the skills that a monk has available. So let's get straight on it. So the basic attack which you get as a monk is called Fists of Thunder. They will generate 6 spirit per attack and they will attack a single target with a series of rapid punches that can knock back enemies. So that's the basic attack you get and the first rune you get for it is Bounding Light. Every third punch releases chain lightning instead of c causing knockback, so it's more damage, but no knockback at that point. Other runes you get is like lightning flash, chance to dodge is increased at level 14, then level 30 is static charge, which will do what? Your charge with static electricity and takes additional damage when other enemies are hit by fists of thunder. Kind of like small AOE ability, in a way. Then we have quickening, critical hits generate additional spirit. I'll talk about spirit soon more, so you know what the heck is going on with spirit. And then finally we have thunderclap, teleport to the target and release an electric shock wave with every punch. So that's pretty much the basic attack. Then the secondary attack, which you get at some level. Again, it'll generate the spirit, but it'll strike multiple enemies in a row with each attack. And the runes for that are Piercing Trident increases the area of, of effect of the second and third strikes. So, bigger AoE. Then we have Keen Strike, which will increase my armor for a limited time when the third strike, strike hits. Then we have Scattered Blows. The third, like, the third strike hits enemies with lightning. And then we have strike from beyond, again more spirit, and then we have foresight, which will mean that the third strike increases the damage of all attacks. So that's the basic ability. The secondary ability which you will get will be first, which you will get is Lashing Tail Kick, unleash a deadly roundhouse kick that is effective against small groups of, groups of enemies. And for that the first rune you can get is a Vulture Claw Kick which will release fire when you do your Lashing Tail Kick and also cause it knockback. Then we have Sweeping Armada. Knockback distance and slows the movement speed of enemies affected by your kick. Then we have Spinning Flame Kick which will hurl a column of fire that burns enemies in its path. Well, that sounds nice. Then we have a scorpion sting. Enemies are stunned instead of being knocked back. And last, we've got Hand of Yatar, however you pronounce that. Attack enemies at long range, slowing them. So a lot of slows there at least. Second ability you can get is Tempest Rush. As you can see, they these skills use spirit. And Tempest Rush is Sarge through your enemies, damaging and knocking them back. So, runes for that will be Northern Breeze, less spirit when you use it, while well, it requires less spirit. And then we have Tailwind, which will increase the movement speed of Tempest Rush. Then we have Lurie, uh, which will increase the amount of enemies slowed. Slipstream, which will mean that you will take less damage while running, and then we have plus the enemies are knocked back to have their damage redu reduced. So there's the mouse skills, aka the basic things you get first. Then you have some defensive skills from which first is Blinding Flash, which will blind all enemies for 3 seconds. And for that you can get runes like Self Reflection, increases the duration of the blinding, and blind and confused, which will mean that the blind enemies have a chance to attack each other. Kinda cool, I think at least. And then we have blinding echo. A second flash blinds all nearby enemies. Mm, pretty good. Then we have searing light. Increases the chance blinded enemies will miss when attacking. 
Well, that's cool. And then we have Blinding Flash, which will mean all our attacks will deal extra damage for some time after we have used Blinding Flash. So that's that. Then we have the heal called Breath of Heaven. Heal yourself and your nearby allies. And again, I'll look the runes through quickly, even though I don't have any. So I've got Breath of Heaven, deals holy damage to enemies. Circle of Life increases the healing power. Blazing Wrath increases the damage of your attacks for limited time. Then we have Infused with Light. Gain additional spirit from spirit generator attacks for a limited time. And finally, Penitent Flame. Enemies exposed to Breath of Heaven run away in fear. So that's the first defensive skill. Well, the only defensive. Next one is Techniques. Duh. Yeah, I'm not level 10 yet, so I don't have any passives yet. But I'd rather show these because these are more fun since they are something you have to use. So the technique, the only one I have available right now is Dashing Strike. Quickly dash and strike an enemy. So runes for that will be Way of the Falling Star. After striking an enemy your movement speed is increased. Then you have Flying Sidekick rune which will perform a flying kick. That's can, that can stun your targets. Then you have the Dashing Strike, which will reduce the spirit cost of... Uh, I mean Quicksilver. You've got Quicksilver rune. I'm kidding. How did I mix those two up? I have no idea. But yeah, Quicksilver rune, which will reduce the spirit cost of Dashing Strike. Then we have Soaring Skull, which will launch yourself through the air and slow all enemies along your path. And finally we've got Blinding Speed, increases your chance to dodge when using Dashing Strike. So those are the abilities. I won't go through the ones that I don't have. Cause... I don't really see the point, cause I can't show them. That's Dashing Strike there. Quickly showing you those, quickly, so yeah. That was Dashing the Leap that I had there, let's do it again. Let's leap to that guy, let's use our... What was the ability gold? I forgot. Lashing tail kick, yeah. And that's our basic attack, aka Fists of Thunder. So I'm gonna go here, blind all of these, use Lashing tail kick, and just Fists of Thunder now. Yeah, Fists of <laughs> I have to check the name. So, if you're wondering, I told you earlier that I would say more about Spirit, so... I'll talk about it now before I switch my abilities. So Monk generates spirit with his with his or her basic attack. And the spirit is used to do the other moves like lashing tail kick, biting flash, dashing strike. All of those require spirit and you get it from attacking enemies. So let's go and attack this guy. You can see the weird gl globe thingy on the left, uh, right side of my UI. I'm totally lo at a loss now. I'm saying things wrong uh, and so on. So let's get here, let's just do single target. As you can see, I'm gaining spirit. And you could also see the lightning thing, hopefully we can show it now. For better, there we go, the lightning rune in effect. Lashing tail. Lashing tail kick. How can I not remember the name? Oh well. But yeah, those are those abilities. And yeah, you can do dashing strike out of combat, but it uses your spirit, which you might want to save. So let's actually change our stuff. Let's change to Deathly Reach. There we go. And then we go Tempest Rush. Then we'll go for the heal here, and we don't have anything else for there. So let's run around a bit. Wait for the series to go. Before we go, let's... Mm, that's actually an elite, so let's go... God damn, it's a teleporting elite. There we go, so this is... Whatever the attack was supposed to be. I actually like this more than the other. What? Deadly reach, yeah. So I like it more than the other. It's kind of cool. It has better 
animation at least. So let's try our secondary mouse. Whoa. That was a bit of drop in my frames for some weird reason. So let's try it again. What? Let's try it here now then. So it's pretty much you move and you do AOE attack like that. Cool. So let's see if how good this is. There we go. It's goddamn not enough spirit. It's kind of effective. In packs, of course, let's kill that before it can summon more. There we go. And we've actually taken some damage, so let's heal me. Like that. So yeah, there, those are the monk basic abilities for now. As I said, I won't show all the abilities since not everything is in the beta. Well, again, I'm gonna say that this is a demo. This hasn't seen a beta. So yeah, now you have basic idea of the abilities you'll start a monk with. Personally, I have to say, I kinda like the monk game style more than the other classes that I've played, which are... Which have I played, actually? Wizard... What else? Ah, oh, yeah, Witch Doctor only. So, yeah, I have to say that... I like the... Mechanics for Monk a lot. The fact that you have to be careful not to overuse your spirit and make sure you always have enough. It's kinda interesting. More interesting than mana or something like that. And the skills itself themselves seem awesome. Maybe I'm a monk fanatic. Hmm. Well, it's kind of cool to be a monk, I guess. But yeah, that, that were the monk abilities available... Well, not all, since like... You could get a crippling wave in the beta, then you could get a wave of light, and something else, I guess. Exploring palm in the beta, but like... I might do a video about them if I play my monk to that level. But for now I wanted to show you the basic abilities you can expect until you reach level then, at which point you will get a passive, but I didn't level at that point yet, so yeah, I won't show the passive, but yeah. Now you know what to expect from the monk. So that's all for now, so see you later.